Welcome back people. Today I will show you how to create this sliced orange juice in GM. So let's get started. First, go to File, New, and adjust the width and height. This is the standard wallpaper size. If you want to make it wallpaper, then just click OK. After that, go to File, Open this layer. We're going to add this some oranges here and open you see this alpha channel here that means this image is already transparent okay so you want to make this orange juice is slice go to add tools or press b on your keyboard and make some notes here and make sure you have a nice curve in the middle Yep, that's it. And go on. Once you almost finish the line, hold control on your keyboard and click. After that, press enter on your keyboard. Alright, go to select, float, and create a new layer. You see, this image is already parted. So once the image is already parted, go to Pet Tools or press B on your keyboard and add more slice. Just click here and make sure the middle is nice curve. Alright, let me adjust it. Okay. Go on. Don't forget when almost finished, hold Ctrl on your keyboard. Click, then press Enter. Go to select, plot, and create as new layer. All right. Repeat the method for more slides. And don't forget to rename the layer so we don't confuse later. make this layer into group for the top, bottom and for the glass move the top slice here and the bottom here make the opposite go to file open this layer and I choose this my circle orange here. You see this layer is not transparent and we're going to make it transparent. Go to this fuzzy select tool and just the threshold uh, around here and click it and press delete on your keyboard. Now move this into this slice play with perspective tools okay so click this perspective tool here play with it make it fit with this slice wow we have some nice orange here and duplicate the layer to the bottom Add some texture here. Go to File, Open this layer. I have this nice orange texture here. Open. And this image is not transparent. Make it transparent with Fuzzy Select tool. All right. I duplicate it for the bottom. We do it later. Decide it. Make this in the top of the layer group. Scale it down. Maybe here. Okay. Hold out on your keyboard and choose this layer. 
make sure this orange texture here right click add layer mask and go to selection then add so repeat the same step with this bottom slice all right now add some layer background here go create new layer and name it the gradient background choose this gradient tool select this color for the dark with a dropper tool i choose here and for the light i choose this color make it radial and drag it all right duplicate this layer we want to make this overlay and rename it Well, so you have some nice orange background and adjust it which you like. Looks nice. We're going to add this button splash here. Go to file, open this layer, and adjust this orange splash button. Make it transparent by select the fuzzy tool. Right? This result is okay. Click as delete on your keyboard. So move it here and maybe drop here, drop the button. I just this masking tool. with black brush tool here so we it's like eraser move it up same step go to right click add layer mask and use this white full opacity and make sure you click this brush and the color is black and erase it Add some splash for the slice top and the slice bottom. Go to file, open this layer, and just this splash here. It's already transparent. Okay, just scale it down. And rotate it with flip tool, make it horizontal. Alright, so rotate it a little and scale it down. Play with this rub tool, rub the deformation. Change the size maybe here. And this eraser. All right, repeat the method with this button. Looks nice, and we are going to add some reflection here by using this orange glass bottom and this plus bottom all right so don't forget to right click apply layer mask and this too then duplicate it
All right, so we have a uh, merge the glass bottom and this splash bottom. So make sure you click this layer and then. All right, hide it. So make sure you click this layer and then flip it just vertical all right so move it down and active this layer view about around here so go to right click add layer mask choose this white full opacity so click this gradient tool Make sure the shape is linear. Make sure the color is black and white. So just click it and make some reflection look like. All right, we're going to add some shadow to make it more realistic here. Okay, but first let me adjust the position of this slice orange okay just sling it and move it to the bottom i forget to move it bottom just move to make it move And this too. For the bottom slice. All right, we're going to add the shadows and create new layer and name it shadows. Go to brush tool and drag your mouse here. Make some shadow look like. Change the opacity. And play with filter, blur, Gaussian blur a little. All right, repeat the same steps with the bottom. All right, now the last step, we're going to add some particles near here. Just click new layer group and file, open this layer. I have this nice slice orange here and open it. Yeah, just okay. Move it here, scale. Right. So duplicate it and flip it. And scale it down. Let me scale this too. Duplicate one more. Scale. Flip it. And 
proteic. Now add some leaf here. Alright, so I have this orange leaf. Just rotate it. Scale it down. Duplicate it. And flip it. Okay, so uh, merge this layer group here by right click and merge layer group. Go to filter, blur, and zoom motion blur. Adjust what you like. Okay, that's it. I hope you can make some improvement on the shadows the color or the space with this tutorial thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial